Hello friends, let us take a trip into the space. E for astronaut. E for astronaut. Astronaut, a person trained to travel in a spacecraft. B for black hole. B for Black hole. Before black hole. Black hole. It plays in the space where the pull of gravity is so strong that even light can't get out. See for comet. See for comet. See for Comet Objects made of frozen gases, rock and dust that orbit around the sun. D for Dwarf Planet D for Dwarf Planet D for Dwarf Planet Pluto is the best example for dwarf planet. Dwarf planet is a small planet with low luminosity. Pluto is the best example. E. E for Earth. The place where we live in. E for Earth. E for Earth. Earth, the third planet from the sun. The only planet on which life is known to exist. F for full moon. F for full moon. We have seen a full moon in the sky. F for full moon. Full moon. When the moon appears as a full disk, the entire side facing us is lit up and is called as full moon. G4 Galaxy G4 Galaxy G4 Galaxy You all know what is galaxy, isn't it? Galaxy, a collection of thousands and billions of stars held together by gravity. The galaxy we live in is called Milky Way. H for Hemisphere. H for Hemisphere. Half of the sphere, isn't it? H for Hemisphere. Hemisphere is a circle drawn around the Earth's center, divides into two equal halves called hemispheres or half spheres. I for International Space Station. I for International Space Station. I for International Space Station. International Space Station is a large spacecraft in orbit around the Earth. It serves as a home where crews of astronauts and cosmonauts live. J for Jupiter. J for Jupiter. We all know we have eight planets. One among is Jupiter. J for Jupiter. Jupiter, the most massive planet of the solar system and the fifth in distance from the sun. K4 Kepler Telescope. K4 Kepler Telescope. Telescope. We see galaxies through it, isn't it? Stars. Kepler Telescope. Space Telescope. Exoplanets discovery. Exoplanets other than our planets. L for lunar 
correct eclipse l for lunar eclipse we have what lunar eclipse isn't it l for lunar eclipse when the earth passes between the sun and moon causing the shadow to be cast on the moon m for milky way galaxy m for milky way galaxy the galaxy where our solar system exists the milky way is the name given to the galaxy our solar system is located in it is called this because the way it looks when viewed from air the galaxy is a large group of stars bound together by gravity and for nebula and for nebula and for nebula let us study what it is nebula a cloud of dust or gas found between the stars O for orbit O for orbit We all know orbit our earth the planets revolve around the sun by orbit orbit the curved path that the planet satellite or spacecraft moves as it circles around another object P for planet p for planet our earth is a best example for the planet where we live in p for planet it, it is a celestial body that orbits around the sun that has sufficient mass for its gravity q for water moon you for water moon or crescent moon we have seen many times in the sky isn't it you for water moon the second phase of the moon in the phase we can see sunlight reflecting of only about one quarter of the moon surface that faces us is called as water moon R for rotation. R for rotation. You all know Earth rotates. R for rotation. Rotation is spin of an asteroid, planet, star, moon, or galaxies on its central axis. Yes for solar system. S for solar system. We have learned about solar system having sun and eight planets, isn't it? Solar system that includes the sun and the smaller bodies like planets, moons, and that orbit the sun. T for telescope. T for telescope. Through it. we can see number of stars which are far away from us t for telescope an instrument that allows us to see into space u for uranus this is also one planet we know in our solar system u for uranus uranus is the seventh planet from the sun in our solar system like neptune it is an ice giant it is the third largest planet in the solar system v for vacuum v for vacuum you know why astronauts will be floating because of vacuum a vacuum is a space with no or very little 
will gas pressure waxing and burning of wool now let us know what are waxing and burning of wool w for waxing and burning of wool waxing means growing in size of moon burning means shrinking in size of moon x for x3 astronomy x for x3 astronomy we all know what is x3 x3 astronomy study of astronomical objects and phenomena that emit radiation at x-ray wavelengths y for yellow dwarf y for yellow dwarf sun is a yellow dwarf y is yellow dwarf Yellow dwarfs are small main sequence stars. So sun is a star, it's a dwarf star. Z for zodiacal light. Sounds new, isn't it? Z for zodiacal light. Now what is zodiacal light? Zodiacal light, a faint cone of light that can sometimes be seen. about the horizon after the sunset zodiac light is caused by sunlight reflecting off small particles of material in the plane of the solar system friends hope you all enjoyed the trip to space if you like please like share and subscribe thank you